Hey, how is it going? In the last video, we had an introduction into ChatGPT and this time we are going to see how we could use it in test automation. First of all, we could ask the AI theoretical questions. I asked ChatGPT, how do you decide what should be automated when testing a new feature? It replied with a good valid answer. Indeed, keywords like repeatability, time-saving approaches, reliability, risk, cost, time are things that we should always think about when we need to take this decision. For the next exercise, I will provide a user story and I will ask the AI to generate some test cases for me in Gherkin syntax. So the first scenario is a positive scenario regarding successful registration. Then it continues with some negative scenarios regarding an already registered email, invalid email, unmatching passwords, empty fields, so on and so forth. Moving on, we can ask the AI to create test automation frameworks for us with given programming language and tech stack. For example, we can ask for test cafe with page object model design pattern example. It's starting with the definition of the page object model and it continues with a code example. The code seems clean. It created two classes with constructors, selectors and uh, custom methods for login and check welcome text then it creates a test suite called my fixture that accesses this url and provides a test that verifies the login flow And it also explains the above code example, which is really nice. As I was saying in the previous video, chat GPT becomes more intelligent over time as we continue to chat with it. Hence, I will give it a message for the above code example to generate an async logout method as well. The AI is writing again the, the class 
of the home page and this time it added the async logout method as you can see It also creates a test that uses the logout method. It's crazy, isn't it? Amazing. For the next example, let's consider having three API endpoints and we would like to use K6 for performance testing. I will ask the AI to provide example. The documentation is so good. It created a file using K6 with three endpoints, defining the virtual users, the duration, the requests, and the assets for uh, the response status code. It also displays the running command. For the next exercise, I will ask the AI to create an API automation framework using Java, Rest Assured and Maven. The AI generated a test scenario for get all users endpoint 
adding comments, creating an assertion for the response status code, and also checking the response content. It suggests the most common test runners in Java that are TestNG and JUnit. It also describes the entire scenario in simple terms. Considering this response, I want the AI to generate the code for this test post users method as well. Let's see what happens. Amazing, isn't it? Based on the initial response, it created a new test scenario for the post endpoint and it also described each and every step. In this example, I want to integrate Cypress in GitLab CI CD. I will ask the AI for the config file. In this config response, let's imagine that we would like to find out more about this artifacts keyword. I will ask the AI about it. Wow, it provides the artifacts description saying that all the files stored in those paths will be saved and available for download after the pipeline has completed. It also provides an important note saying that all the files will be saved for a limited time and it also gives a heads up regarding the limited storage space and the size of the files. Thank you for watching, I hope this tutorial gave you a good overview and ideas about how to use chat GPT in test automation. Please leave your thoughts or questions in the comments section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because more tutorials on this subject will be posted soon. Happy testing!